Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video. This time, I had this um, Samsung, what is it, a Gear 2? It's a smartwatch, basically, and I believe it runs Tizen, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is, um, if I remove the band, you can actually see that there's uh, some corrosion, and it's making it pretty difficult to charge the watch. Uh, it'll just disconnect. Uh, you can hopefully see right on the end there, that's actually the 5 volt pin, <laughs> which is like the worst pin for that to happen. So if you don't press the, um, the snapping USB charger adapter thingy to the end, sometimes it'll just sit there and not charge the whole time, which is really annoying. Um, and I use this watch every single day, so I thought might as well go ahead and replace it. I found off eBay, they sold a uh, replacement contact. And um, this guy ended up being, I believe, 5 or $6, something like that, which is kind of expensive for basically what it what amounts to a tiny little board and just wires and gold contacts. But yeah, it is what it is. If I want to keep using this watch, I'll need to replace it. So yeah, pretty cool that it includes uh, pry tools and screwdrivers and a little suction cup and also a, a SIM card remover. That'll be useful. Not for this, but for other things. But anyway... We're just going to open this up. It uses this absolutely tiny Torx. So we're just going to go. And there are four screws on the back after you remove the bands. Basically, the bands just have a nice little captive um, springy thing. And there's a little lever on the one edge you can use to remove it. Okay, easy enough. And either a fingernail or... A pry tool you can just kind of get in between the metal frame and the plastic and there are little clasps one on each side I believe and it'll just pop open now interesting if you guys have never seen the inside of one of these um, the OLED ribbon is actually on the front here and it's basically bonded to this um, I believe it's like Gorilla Glass or something um, anyway, the connector for that's in here. You can see a little vibration motor. And um, additionally, let's see, we have the, the camera is actually in here. There's a little connector, a flat flex press fit connector there. The home button actually sits in here. It's a little board. And you can see that there's little uh, rubber O-ring seals for all the screws as well as the entire uh, back case. This is um, waterproof, basically. Well, water resistant, I would say. You can actually submerge it for, I think, like half an hour or something like that, and it'll work just fine. Pretty neat construction, though. There's also an IR blaster, which you can see just about in here. I'll give you guys a little close up. And the main board is just pretty much this block underneath there. There's a little RFI uh, shielding can in there. And all the contacts for um, that mate with the actual uh, USB contacts in there. So, yeah, in case you guys have never seen the inside of that. And on the back, pretty neat construction. There are little fingers that connect the two sides. On the back, we have the, uh, the lithium battery with a nice little pull tab. Pretty easy to replace. And I might actually be replacing this sometime in the future. Battery life... Um, runs like three or four days and I'm getting down to maybe like three days so maybe the battery will need replacing soon but it seems fine for now anyway it's uh, 1.14 watt hours which is pretty tiny but um, it's pretty thick actually for the size of the watch the contacts are in here I'm not gonna poke it with something metal that'll be bad as well as there's a uh, speaker in here as well uh, which fires out these two holes in the side and here's a little uh, board that we actually need to replace. So just going to get in there. And let's see, how can we... Should be able to just pry that out. Wow, mine was actually stuck in. So it actually broke. <laughs> well, good thing I have a replacement. And there's actually some... Uh, sticky foam that we are going to want to keep in there and hopefully this is in focus i kind of can't see from the angle that i'm at but um there's some foam there so yeah that that just straight up tore on my 
the one that I just removed, well, good thing that it was uh, corroded badly. I'm not going to be reusing this anyway. And so, I should be able to just stick the new one in. I probably will just clean this up just a little bit. Yeah, after you open these sorts of things, um, pretty much assume that whatever inherent waterproofing you have um, isn't going to be quite as good. So, um, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is there's actually a heart rate sensor that presses up against the flat of your wrist. And this will actually let up red um, when it takes a measurement. But anyway, yeah, what I was saying is once you open up something that's like waterproof, um, kind of assume that it's not going to be as waterproof from now on. But uh, yeah, press this in. Seems to be sitting flush on the back. So we just go and close this. Now the battery obviously has to go uh, towards this large gap here. And it just sort of snaps together. And we just take our Torx screws and screw this bit back together. Let's get the uh, the band back on. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Yeah, it goes like this. So you line up the hole or the peg without the clasp on it. And then you pull the clasp in and then you just line up the other end and you release it and it'll click right in. But getting this one, this side in is a little more annoying. Not that bad. There we go. So now we are in. Let's see if it turns on. There we go. And watch works. I need to charge it. It's at 40%. But yeah, you can see everything works. And then if I double tap, I set it to open the camera. You can see my hand over here waving at you. Just close that. And there we go. Fully working again. Um, I'm going to have to find the actual charger itself. <laughs> Turn this off. I'm going to have to find the charger and test if these contacts all work. But I'm sure they will. I mean, it looks all nice and shiny, so should be good to go. Anyway, if you guys have one of these uh, older Samsung um, Gear 2s or... Uh, they came out with a Gear 1, a Gear 2, and then the Gear 2 Neo, I believe, uh, which was the sportier version of this. This is sort of the slightly classier, metal heavier version. But anyway, if you got one of these and um, your charging port is uh, seen better days, as evidenced by all the corrosion and it's, you know, breaking down and whatnot, especially that end one. I wonder why it had to be the 5 volt. Uh, connection that went if it were like one of the data pins i don't ever plug this into a computer it would have been fine but either five volt or ground i couldn't afford for it to break but yeah you could see just pulling that out uh absolutely destroyed it tore up the uh the solder pads unfortunately so uh, this guy is gonna get binned but yeah all in all that barely even took me like five ten minutes I rambled on longer. That's That was the thing uh, that took me the longest. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a quick one, and it was something I needed to fix anyway. I thought I'd film it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.